Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, uh, Lecture yang saya akan bagikan kali ini ialah berkaitan dengan vocational rehab ya. um, Lain daripada topik-topik yang sebelum ni iaitu uh, Driving rehab, work hardening program, uh, work conditioning program <coughs> yeah. uh, Jadi untuk hari ini uh, Saya akan cerita tentang uh, vocational rehab Yang mana Vocational rehab ni penting uh, untuk uh, OT memainkan peranan eh? You play a very important role in uh, vocational rehab uh, Sekejap lagi, eh? saya akan bukakan uh, Sekejap ya So, when talk about vocational rehab um, Ia merupakan satu perkara yang penting untuk OT uh, Sebagai OT untuk menjalankan uh, uh, pemulihan ya. Okay, so vocational rehab uh, merupakan uh, dari segi uh, from David punya citation right? uh, merupakan uh, the way or the the way we have uh, permanent disabilities uh, person uh, to achieve gainful employment. So it's very specific for those who are having a permanent disabilities. To gain for, to gain uh, employment, eh, to achieve employment. Okay. Uh, so when talk about vocational rehab, uh, it's not only uh, treatment or intervention, right, but also um, including job placement. Uh, di sini kita place kan jawang bekerja, um, and then uh, also. Uh, inside the vocational rehab, there is also uh, intervention. For me, uh, it's more on intervention or treatment. Eh? Uh, there is a quality remedi remediation, eh? uh, emotional intervention, and behavioral interpersonal intervention, and family counseling. So it's more on uh, involvement, uh, family together in uh, vocational rehab. And, eh? And talk, when talk about vocational rehab, it's not only involved of, of OT, but also social worker, counselor, uh, and uh, job placement officer uh, together in uh, one center. Uh, so the objective is to uh, to 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 gain employment uh, for people, for person who having permanent disabilities. So when talk about <coughs> uh, vocational rehab, eh, is uh, actually is a complex nature of rehab. Uh, it cannot be achieved by one pro professional group alone. Uh, this involve of uh, not only uh, uh, clinical and therapeutic uh, intervention, but also social intervention. This need team member to work closely, and share of knowledge and skill is essential for effective, uh, efficient rehabilitation process and is acceptable to patient. So when talk about this nature of vocational rehab, eh, it's not only training them, but also you have an objective to to uh, place them in in a real life or real world situation and also how to make them reside in the community so it's involved a big process uh, actually so you cannot be alone eh? you need involve, involvement of others for example like communities uh, at that place eh? community at that place and then uh, together uh, with OT 
with the social worker, with the educators, eh? uh, and uh, there is also job, job placement officer eh, together. Uh, so the objective is to, to place the, the permanent disabled uh, client uh, to gain employment. Eh? <coughs> So, uh, when talk about <coughs> approach, eh? approach, uh, we must have uh, uh, client-centered approach. This is a synonym with uh, OT, and uh, our approach should be a client-centered approach. Eh? Uh, so, uh, you have to work with the clients, eh? and. Um, as a therapist, you need to explain uh, their problem, and then you are able to foresee, uh, to predict what the the thing that you going they are going to have uh, you going to face uh, in future, and also you must have uh, environment of understanding, trust, and acceptance, okay? and you must work together. The, the goals, eh? the goals that as a therapist you need to advise whatever the client wants to achieve, whether it is within their ability and capacity, you must highlight to your client and then the client must, must understand eh? the, the situation and together with the client, you're going to achieve what actually uh, your client one and uh, what are their priorities and their needs. Eh? So actually it's uh, very important uh, using this client-centered approach because it's going to be beneficial eh, to, to your client and you, to you all. So when you work together with your client, you're going to have uh, satisfaction and also a good uh, working together. It's like a partnership. And so your client have a commitment and the quality and standard practice is there because uh, your client will will happy, uh, satisfied. Whatever being discussed is uh, in not only in their, their ways but also with your guidance. So you all have to work together. This is called uh, client-centered approach. So, in terms of the model, the the best practice of model uh, in vocational rehabilitation is is first is uh, performance perform components. Uh, so, you need to really assess your client. What are the performance that they need uh, to achieve? Eh? And then uh, you need to train them how to survive in the community. Uh, right now, our community is uh, more on uh, IT uh, approach, technology, and um, they, they have to learn to survive. Uh, they have more skill. For example, skill of transportation. Right now, they, in our community, they have a grab car. This is the new method of um, uh, transportation. Again. Uh, so, you have to educate the survival skill uh, that to use grab car and then to to educate them how to utilize this technology eh? yeah, even uh, elderly people eh? for example like my mother eh? my mother last time you know uh, you know handphone right now last time my mother uh, only used the mobile uh, line telephone right now after I educate her using the mobile handphone uh, and the smartphone and, and uh, it takes time but she able to manage this is a survival skill that that you have to teach your your, your client eh, in the community and uh, one of the one uh, the experience I encounter is that in uh, when we train uh, 
the, the disabled, there is one case, uh, Down syndrome case boy. Eh? So this boy, uh, parents are very supportive. Uh, at the beginning, parents want to send uh, uh, his son to the training center. But I advise parents to use uh, right now technology, how to survive in the transportation using a smartphone. So, uh, at the beginning, the father with uh, hesitate to, to do that. Eh? But after we explained to the father the needs and uh, the, the importance of survival skill in the community, so the father yeah, accept. And together with the, the parents and the father, uh, so we managed to train the Down syndrome adult to use uh, 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 transportation that is available right now using grab car to come to the center and, and it's, it's good although the father able to send the, 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 the son but when the father when the son able to survive uh, in terms of transportation uh, the father very happy and then this is the, the first start Starting uh, with a way of to improve their survival skill, and and also family support is very important. So whenever whatever you do in a vocational rehab, if there is no support from family, it could be a, a challenge for you. Right? I remember at one time uh, I experienced one case <coughs> that the father is a petrol pump. Petronas manager. So, uh, this is happened at Bangi. Eh, at Bangi. So, uh, after one uh, training to another training, uh, he want uh, his son to be trained throughout uh, his life. You know? uh, first, become a training electron electronic uh, technician, then computer IT, then uh, Jaitan. You know? Then I asked the father to... to uh, to what uh, to what ending of what are the soli what are the end of this uh, training because your son should be uh, working outside eh? working outside at, at the beginning parent uh, reluctant to 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 accept my advice but slowly you know with a good reason and good support so the father confident to let go her son his son to work at competitive employment and um, right now his son uh, able to drive car go to work although he able to support his son uh, throughout uh, his life and he's a petrol pump tauke huh? but at the end we, we advise the father you want your son to be independent and also community support very, very important when you want to place the, the disabled people uh, to work, if there is no community support, it's going to be uh, difficult. Eh? <clears throat> because uh, our approach with the with, with the disabled person is that uh, for starting, we're going to do we're going to introduce a temporary uh, working time, eh? probation working time. Is if the employer unable to give us good support. If the committee of the industry unable to give support, then very difficult, uh, difficult for them to get used to the real competitive employment. And uh, employer support is very very important. Eh? <clears throat> so if the if you negotiate with your the employer, you need to disclose uh, the strength and the weakness of the the disabled person. Eh? So. When talk about vocational rehab, the holistic approach is formal components, survival skill in the community, family support, community support, and employee support. So very important that when talk about rehab principles, we need to have evidence-based practice. Uh, so we have to go through the different studies, uh, the, the the what they call. Uh, the achievement 
that been done with uh, different cases, different conditions. Eh? This is the evidence base. We have to go to the evidence base eh? and clinical reasoning. Uh, so you need to understand your 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 disabled person uh, disabilities, the impairment. What are their uh, capacities? Eh? The status of their strength and also their weakness. Eh? So this this can be a uh, 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 clinical reasoning eh? to be tailored to suit skills uh, and the needs and priorities of each, each client eh? and then you must have outcome measures uh, instrument to quantify the change in the patient population as a result of preceding intervention so you must have outcome measure how to to, to uh, understand your client progress eh? then you must reflect you must have reflection in your practice this is very important to understand of practicing rather than just cause and effect. So, whatever you did with your case, you need to reflect, uh, reflect your the, the the strength, the weakness, the opportunity, the they call it the track. You know, you have to do SWOT analysis uh, with your uh, uh, workplace. So your your client, eh, you have to understand the situation of your organization or that. Eh. So this is the rehabilitation principles, and also you must also involve with clients and the approach, and also together you have to work together with others profession eh, uh, to make your approach successful. So, in terms of uh, leadership, it's very important that you must have uh, effort to make change. Uh, this is focus on the effort to change in certain influence that create positive energy, that change ourselves and eventually change others, uh, being proactive. So, you must, an and you must have an effort, uh, effort to change. You must have uh, create. You must create positive energy. Uh, eh? This is very important. Uh, to, for example, you work in organization. You cannot be uh, negative toward others. You must have create positive uh, energy. You must also take the lead in practicing. Eh? So you need to. Uh, <coughs> must have, uh, they call it philosophy, that support people who choose to serve first. They only lead an individual and organization. They encourage innovation and change. That also empower other professionals to become innovative in the problem and solution. So you need to, uh, you cannot complain, uh, put, uh, feel complacent, takut lama saja benda approach you benda yang sama uh, you kena ada inovasi uh, untuk untuk membawa perubahan kepada organisation eh, yang you bekerja and then you must also practice emotional competence uh, this is very important uh, learn capabilities on emotional intelligence uh, a good Serving therapy is an emotional competence based on self-awareness, motivation, self-regulation, adaptiveness, empathy. So it's very important that your your emotional uh, intelligence is intact. Uh, you able to you must aware your your strength and also your weakness. Uh, you must also adapt. Be able to adapt. Yourself in your organization. Okay? For example, if you, you work at vocational rehab, uh, so there is a lot of uh, resistance you know, that they don't want to uh, to to use your approach. Yeah? So you need to have emotional uh, competence, uh, emo emotional intelligence. You need to uh, adapt. And uh, empath 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 uh, empathy, you must have empathy uh, toward others. Eh? Uh, toward
what your patients again maybe uh, your patients very very uh, sad with their uh, history medical history uh, but you are very active missioner yeah? but you must have feeling of empathy uh, eh? so if you have this uh, this thing you able to achieve uh, whatever you want with your client So whenever you work at the area of vocational rehab, so very important that you must have using the SWOT analysis. You must understand. Uh, you must assess the strength of the organization, and then the, also the weakness of the organization and the opportunity, and also the challenges. Some of some of the thing they put it threats. Eh? Challenges you're going to face. Uh, bear in your mind that not everyone has the uh, um, same uh, philosophy like you, eh? especially with the old time. Uh, last time I when I work at vocational rehab center at Bangi, uh, I faced many challenges, eh? especially uh, with uh, people who have been orthodox thinking. I mean, pikiran yang lama. Eh? It's very challenging. But um, you know you keep uh, giving them rational. You keep giving them evidence, and uh, slowly they will accept you. Uh, in boxing uh, help by Bangi, I play important roles. Eh? Important role. Uh, not only do your OT side, but also I also involved with the management side. Whenever case come to the PLPP, uh, Workshop Rehab Center at Bangi, so I have to assess uh, the case. Whenever they're going to discharge the case, so I'm the one who take the, the big role. And a um, lot of uh, adaptation and modification that I have uh, come up eh, in the uh, Workshop Rehab Bangi. So, so when you work at the vocational rehab, uh, uh, you need to ask what you want to achieve, what is your objective, and what you want to achieve, and then what resource available and what service need to support you, and then what the evidence you need to really uh, look into this evidence and then outcome measure uh, and then you must also must have date to achieve this is the the thing that you must have in your action plan eh? so there is a video um, uh, in youtube that you can uh, go through this is called uh, auction help service simply said uh, this is the video to to make you understand uh, what actually vocational rehab is. Yeah? So, the uh, different countries have different opportunities. Eh? For example, like Hong Kong. Eh? Uh, Hong Kong is an uh, industrial society. So, this is service-oriented and knowledge-based economy. So vocational choice for people with mental handicaps are limited. Okay? So in line with this evolving working environment, some adjustment must be made in vocational evaluation. Okay? Uh, training program and ongoing support for this group of people who are in need. So, uh, so depend on the socio-economic of the, the country, okay? different country. For example, like Hong Kong, this is uh, an industrial society more on knowledge-based economy. So the vocational choice of mental or disabled people must, uh, uh, must look into this opportunity of industrial society. Uh, eh? So different countries have different uh, approach. Eh? For example, like uh, Malaysia, we are uh, more on agriculture. Eh? 
agriculture, the small scale industry, to industry to, to service and knowledge based industry. So this is the potential of uh, auctioneer rehab. So you need to cater uh, the opportunity of different countries. For, for example, like our, our country is more on uh, agriculture and small scale industry. We have small medium enterprise. Again, uh, there is a small medium enterprise. Uh, industry service for hotel and, and also knowledge based industry uh, so you need to add that for example like small scale industry for example like we have a restaurant lot of a restaurant lot of uh, apa, jahitan uh, printing uh, shop and so on so we have to look into this uh, opportunity eh? So, what are the strengths in nation scenario? Uh, we have a good rehabilitation service, and we have also vocational rehab service. We have therapies, NGO, shelter workshop, public community, and employer and government. And so, you can see that you want to uh, have vocational rehab training for the disabled people. Uh, this is the, the strength in nation. We have vocational rehab service. Eh? Uh, run by the NGO and also uh, the government and our public com and our party for example like government our government also uh, there is a scheme of uh, one percent employment for disabled people uh, so this is the opportunity and the strength of uh, Malaysian scenario uh, that uh, we are able to place uh, the, the disabled people uh, to different uh, area, uh, which is this, you know, you can see that, for example, like, you know, disabled people working at KFC, McDonald's, all that. This is the community uh, obligation eh, uh, to support uh, the disabled uh, people in terms of employment. So in Occupational Rehab Center in Malaysia, there is also a ministry and also NGO. For example, ministry, Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat. Banyak tempat, eh, boleh tengok. Eh. Contoh macam Pusat Pemulihan Bangi, uh, <coughs> Taman Sinah Harapan untuk uh, Adelson, eh, uh, di Johor, di di Sungai Long. Eh. Banyak tempat, eh, di, di Permai, eh. So there is a lot of rehab center in uh, Shelter workshop also, uh, banyak, eh, to train uh, disabled people. Eh. So the potential type of employment opportunity in Malaysia can be agriculture, small scale industry, cottage industry, industry, service industry, hospitality industry, self-employed business, uh, shelter workshop, management and others. Uh, this is the potential type of employment opportunities in Malaysia. So whenever you do vocational rehab, your program in your vocational rehab must be catered uh, toward the opportunities in Malaysia. Eh? Uh, so this is one video. Uh, if you like to see the video, it's called Banker Dyer. You got the opportunity to go to this Banker Dyer Klang Jaitan. This is more of shelter workshop. Uh, this is the opportunity for the physical disabled uh, to learn about the jaitan. Eh? Uh, there's so many, there's many people who have been uh, successful when they go, when they undergo this uh, uh, shelter workshop uh, training and uh, they open their own business. And they own own their own business uh, by by apa? and then uh, remember our uh, government have uh, given a benefit uh, to disabled people who are working. They giving extra allowance, eh? three hundred fifty ringgit for people who are working. These the opportunities that you can uh, <coughs> work together with the disabled uh, when talk about uh, employment. Eh? 
this uh, uh, this is a pre vocational training for person who non existent job studies deal with development antecedent to job skill development eh? so when when you have when you receive a person who have no existent job history uh, so you need to deal with development and you need to deal with the the development of this the, the your, your client eh? whatever they don't have any skill job skill to develop uh, so this for example like in this youtube uh, these centers of uh, vocational training for people with disabilities. Eh? So when talk about job skill development, uh, you must have, you must develop. What are the job skill development that need to be trained to the <coughs> uh, people who having uh, who have no job histories? Eh? For example, like Down syndrome. For example, like uh, uh, mental retarded uh, adolescents. Eh? So, what are the job skills that you need to train them? First, gender behavior. Right? Gender behavior. Uh, for example, like <coughs> follow instruction, concentration uh, while working, uh, quality, uh, <coughs> frustration tolerance, uh, punctuality. This is a general behavior that you need to develop. And also you need to develop their interpersonal behavior. Right? Uh, how to uh, communicate or uh, communicate with the peers, uh, communicate to the supervisors. How they must have interpersonal behavior. And then their psychological functioning also need to be trained to them. How they cope with the frustration, how they uh, cope with the <coughs> uh, instruction, how they learn to cope with the, uh, the hardship eh, that they're going to face uh, with different employers. Eh? And some of the, them need to improve the skill of their cognition, uh, memory, eh, their process of thinking, all that you need to uh, in the job skill development so it's very important and then task behavior uh, when talk about task behavior uh, eh? uh, for example like lift, lifting thing technique of lifting thing technique of carrying thing eh? uh, technique of checking take uh, um, placing things eh? This is the task behavior that you need to uh, teach them, right? And then motor functioning. Uh, the manual dexterity is very important. Uh, their finger, hand, eye, eye foot coordination, right? Uh, so this is motor function skill and activities of daily living. This is very important uh, to go to the toilet, eh, to uh, to to go to the canteen, uh, having uh, a lunch, eh, having breakfast, and then a survival skill, a survival skill. Whenever they 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 go to the community, they uh, using the public transport. They they use the public uh, phones. Eh? Uh, they so they buying things. Eh? They they money changing or that so this is the thing that very important that you need to develop this is called job skill development so work adjustment a term used to describe treatment program that use real or simulated work tasks to achieve therapeutic goals so related to developmental behavior or physical incapacity so work adjustment very important that you must have uh, task that simulate, eh, simulate the real uh, working environment. Eh? So, because at the end, you, they're going to work uh, outside at, uh, at the competitive employment, the real work task. So, your, your simulation task
task must relate to their uh, development, eh? their behavior or physical incapacity. Eh? So, you, so this is the they call it a profile of the uh, the 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 disabled uh, uh, person. Eh? So their development, eh? their behavior, and their physical incapacity. So you need to understand your client uh, in terms of development, in terms of the motor, uh, fine motor, right? Uh, for example, like uh, how, how much they can live, how much they can carry. Uh, so within their development, uh, right? then their physical uh, capacities. Right? So whenever you you want to place them to work uh, this is the the your client profile you must also uh, need to understand your client profile right? in terms of their development and behavior and also their physical incapacity uh, so to what limit uh, their physical uh, capacity that really that can relate to the uh, the real job uh, function right? so you need to adjust or well, this is involved a negotiation with the employer so at the beginning you need to for example if you want to place them to the real world so you need to uh, do some uh, assessment at the place uh, and then you need to understand and relate to your client in terms of their development, behavior, and their physical capacity. And work adjustment service. Uh, involve clients who have not acquired work habits and skill need to function in vocational training or actual employment. So, you must So in terms of work adjustment service, eh? so involve clients who have not acquired work habits and skill need to function in vocation training or actual employment. Uh, this is very important. Uh, some of your clients don't have, uh, unable to have work habit that uh, require. Uh, eh? So you must have uh, clients, eh? you must involve them in uh, real work habits and skill to function in vocational training or actual employment. And work adjustment must relate the task, their personal, social, daily living requirement, educational preparation and job readiness. Eh? So this is the thing, uh, when you want to place them to work, you need to adjust adjust their personal, their social, daring, living requirement because you're not only uh, going to focus on the work itself but also their personal, uh, their personal, their social and daily living requirement. Uh, so not only at work but uh, only talking about their working uh, skill but also their personal. For example like and they want to live in the community. So which is the the the, the place that relate to their uh, disabilities. For example, they're having physical disabilities. Right? Uh, so for example, uh, the area that they're going to live involve uh, a lot of barriers. For example, there's no ramp, uh, so they have to climb stairs. Right? So you need to adjust, adjust them to their uh, daily living requirement. So you need to advise them to not to rent, for for example, like flat, and etc. Because they're going to face the barriers in their uh, daily living. Eh? And then you need to relate with the educational preparation. 
eh? and then uh, job readiness eh? whether they are ready uh, with the job or not eh? so you need to uh, assess them whether they are ready or not eh? so the, the other thing that you have to look into their general behavior uh, their appearance eh? uh, they have to uh, wear uh, uniform uh, so they have to be uh, clean they have to look uh, tidy eh? and then uh, you have to look into their inappropriate behavior uh, that uh, the, the society unable to accept eh? so you have to look into this thing and how they express their their needs, their anger. So you need to look into this also. Their responsibility and their punctuality. Uh, right. This is very important. This is the gender behavior you need to develop eh? uh, the, the disabled person. And then uh, interpersonal behavior in terms of independent, cooperation and self assertion and their sociability, so sociability, yes? and ability to accept suggestion and so criticism. Uh, this is the thing that you need to to train them uh, to cooperate, to be independent, and to to be uh, self assertive and sociability, socialized together with their peers and with their neighbors eh, when they're living outside. Eh? and ability to accept criticism. Uh, some of the uh, disabled people, they are not open mind. Eh? They are easily agitated when they are being critiqued. Eh? So you need to teach their interpersonal behavior. Their emotional state and eh? their coping behavior, this is more on psychological functioning. Uh, whether they can stand stress eh? And distress, eh? and um, they are coping very. How are they going to cope with this emotional uh, distress and stress, etc. Yeah. Their cognition, uh, cognition eh, in terms of their concentration, their orientation, their recall, and they are able to solve problem. Eh? So this is the thing that you need to train them in terms of cognition. Uh, this is more on they have, they have issue of sensory integration functioning, so this is the thing that they need to, to, to you need to improve. Eh? They have a sensory deficit and then their visual perceptual motor skills. Eh? This all in your functional health term. Task behavior in terms of engagement, in terms of coordination, and then for instruction activity neatness. Complexity and organization, initial learning, interest in activity, interest in, uh, in accomplishment, eh, decision making, and frustration tolerance, all these task behavior, you need to train them. Eh? Uh, they have motor functioning, uh, this is very important in terms of uh, you want to face to real work life, eh? you must have. They must have good upper limb, lower limb. They must have doing you in vocational rehab. You must have a, a special program to uh, to improve their strength and uh, their flexibility and their endurance eh? in terms of their upper limb, lower limb, hand function, eh? their grip, their uh, coordination, and their dexterity. So all these things must be trained. And don't forget about activities of daily living. You must also have a program of <coughs> grooming, uh, and grooming, dressing, toileting, feeding, bathing, all these things is very important. And this is uh, when I talk about survival skill. Uh, you, they must have uh, understand simple, be able to read and uh, understand whatever the, the basic thing of reading, handwriting, they're able to do handwriting calculations, eh? handle money, uh, money handling is very important. Some of them, even they have been placed working, they are unable to 
calculate the simple calculation of money. Eh? Uh, you need to train them uh, to do to have account, do banking, eh? uh, saving, have saving, all that, and then uh, using uh, public transport. Uh, this why right now I told you just now, uh, Grab car is one of the public trans uh, transport of uh, the latest using the Grab car, and you. Use it, use of public utility. Right now, they must able to use smartphone. Uh, eh? uh, they use the public toilet. Eh? Okay. Assessment, there is a standardized assessment and non-standardized assessment. You must uh, able to uh, have in your department. Uh, this is the same thing. Uh, and there's a YouTube uh, talking about all these things, job skill development. And uh, this is one uh, example uh, of preparation for vocational. Eh? They use this this using uh, pre vocational routine making video. This is a nice video how to train the uh, uh, intellectual disability person in terms of preparation of uh, uh, making roti. Uh, making roti. Eh? And also vocational activity of block printing. Uh, this is the uh, the thing, the video that you can uh, look into. Uh, this is the vocational workshop. Uh, this is very formal of uh, vocational vocational workshop that uh, <coughs> this workshop able to develop able to develop. Uh, They are developmental, uh, interval developmental skills eh, in uh, vocational. So when talk about vocational development, eh, they involve of uh, discriminate color, uh, able to able to follow uh, sequence. Eh, uh, able, uh, have, you must also uh, have able to. Doing a workshop together with friends, eh, with the colleagues, uh, follow diagram or that. Eh? So this is the formal vocational workshop that you can look into this video. There is a part one and part two. Eh? Uh, this is the example of uh, daybreak in Malaysia, uh, vocational rehab training in uh, Pera. There is a daybreak, eh? daybreak. These are vocational training for people with disabilities eh, at daybreak. So you can look in the in the video. What are the or or in the website? What are the train of this vocational uh, rehab uh, with this uh, case eh, with the disabled uh, people? This is more on when you look into this picture is more on uh, intellectual disability uh, handicap. You can look at this YouTube. I already upload in your lab about this day break. Eh? And also, for example, like Ruma Insania Tun Dr. Siti Asma. This is more on physical disabled uh, rehabilitation. Eh? There is an association of the disabled, physical disabled. And they involved with the uh, uh, sports. Eh? Uh, for example, like Basketball, wheelchair, volleyball, uh, sitting volleyball, eh? uh, lifting. So they, because disabled, you know, they need to have a leisure uh, activities and recreational activities. Um, so this is one way um, to to uh, to uh, improve their motivation. Eh? And so there, there is also. Uh, what they call it, Acara Mumana, eh? Acara Mumana for physical disabled. And this is my ending of my slide. So I want to show you a bit about the one video.
Okay. Under this Leipzig, eh, that is a video you can uh, go through with the video. Mel, Mel, Mel. Oh, uh, tapa tapa kerja. Eh? Okay, this uh, video, I like this video, okay, I will show you. This video regarding uh, pre-vocational uh, training uh, for intellectual disabled uh, people. Yeah. you click to this one making multi this is a nice video i like this uh, video it's a uh, it's highlight how you uh, find opportunity for the intellectual disability in terms of training eh? You know, like uh, in Malaysia, eh? in Malaysia we have uh, many opportunities for uh, medium and uh, small enterprise companies by the uh, so Basically, it depends on the conditioner of the Japanese method. This person is uh, training how to make roti for the review uh, at this case, more on intellectual disability, uh, we autistic. So the place of this uh, trainer, they using uh, not only verbal instruction but also uh, from uh, from uh, they guide these uh, skills and so on. It's going to be tough uh, at the beginning, but if you consistently uh, train them. Yeah, so they they going to you know they, they, so this this uh, adolescent don't have any contact eye contact with the, uh, the therapist but they using this approach uh, of uh, uh, by guiding the, the case eh? they able to achieve. So, uh, you have to involve in uh, a course of, for example, the, the, the modification, eh, positive enforcement, that's, eh, and extra uh, to, to train this case. Eh? Okay, there is another case eh, I want to highlight to you. Uh, eh, another want to highlight to you all, uh, this is broad, print, broad printing, eh? broad printing with a, a disabled person. Why you should not buy low sell high? Most people will think, hey, buy low is of value, right? You don't buy something that's cheap. Okay, uh, they, this is called uh, printing. Eh? So in Malaysia also, we can train them because we have uh, batik printing, 
apa kereta for medium enterprise special thanks to shard center om sir and his team who support us in every activity this call activity of block print. hello to everyone welcome to help us special we are here with a new vocational activity in this video a child will learn about how to do block printing and how to do lamination anything so enjoy this video So this is the example of uh, uh, block printing eh? that we can be done eh? with the uh, uh, intellectual disability person, patient in vocational rehab training. So the other videos you can look into, uh, for example, like uh, vocational uh, workshop part one, part two. This is more informal. Uh, formal training and also other uh, vocational training such as banker day clang and also a day break eh, association uh, there's the main, uh, this is more on uh, government and NGO uh, in terms of vocational rehab eh? so this is the topic for today uh, in terms of vocational rehab and I, I hope that you able to go through the YouTube and uh, and the materials that I have uh, uh, put inside your uh, uh, that I have uploaded in your iClass yeah? together with the materials you are able to understand more on uh, vocational rehab yeah? so if you got any question you can go to I discuss in uh, iClass uh, or you can PM me personally okay that's all folks Thank you very much and uh, goodbye, okay?